everyone and welcome to this newscast. These are the stories for today. First, Indonesia's new capital will be called Nusantara. The idea of relocating to a new capital was first proposed in 2019, and just recently the parliament has approved a bill to relocate the capital from Jakarta to a new capital that will be called Nusantara, a Japanese word meaning archipelago. Jakarta has become crowded, polluted, and is sinking at an alarming rate due to over-extraction of groundwater. By building a new capital 1,300 kilometers away in East Kalimantan, a province in the island of Borneo, the government hopes it can take some of the pressure off Jakarta. Indonesia is not the first country to change its capital. Brazil, Pakistan, and Nigeria have all relocated this to newly planned and constructed cities. If you were at Jakarta and checked it in your list of visited capitals of the world, then soon you will need to visit Nusantara. Next, Webb Space Telescope reaches million miles away destination. The James Webb Telescope, the largest space telescope ever built, has reached its parking orbit a million miles away from the Earth 30 days after it was launched. Getting there was just half of the process. Now scientists and engineers at NASA have to remotely align its mirrors and calibrate its instruments. The most complex part of the process, which according to estimations, could be done by end of April. After that, it will take another two months or so to test and calibrate the near cam, a combination of camera and spectrograph. Only then, images could be released to the public. Upon completion, Webb will be 100 times more powerful than Hubble, so powerful to infrared light that it could detect the heat of a bumblebee as far away as the moon. What a powerful instrument! Soon, we will be able to see marvelous images from the outer space. Last news for today, high-tech sports kicking off around the world. New technology is endlessly changing how we live our lives, and high-tech sport is one of the arenas where there is a lot of innovation. Drone soccer, which originated in South Korea, is already spreading in the US, with various leagues being launched across states. It is January 29 in Lagos, Nigeria, will take place the African Drone Soccer Challenge. Robot Soccer, a competition for autonomous robots, which already has a Robot World Cup initiative called Robot Cup, aiming that by 2050, a team of fully autonomous humanoid robots will be able to win a soccer game by playing in full compliance of FIFA rules. Drone Racing, will pilots direct drones through complex race courses. Speed Gate, a sport that combines aspects of croquet, rugby, and soccer, the first sport created by artificial intelligence, AI. Segway Polo with two wheeled self balancing electric vehicles. There are options for everyone. I hope these high tech sports don't replace our traditional human sports. That's all of today. Thank you for watching this is Michael from the Newscast. Subscribe to my channel for the latest news and updates every week.